Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at intersections of curves and lines and in our first example we're looking at where this line crosses this parabola. So we'll start with plotting the line which has an x -intercept, sorry, a y intercept at um, y equals negative 2 and it's going up to across 1 and we'll follow that pattern down a bit as well and once we've got enough points we'll use our ruler to draw a straight line in. Okay, so that's y equals 2x minus 2. And then we'll deal with this parabola. So I'll just factorize it so that I can work out our x and y intercepts, sorry, x intercepts. So that's it factorized. So it has an intercept at negative 2 and at 3. Uh, its vertex will be halfway between those points, which is at a half. And if I substitute in a half, I get negative 6.25, which is there. So we'll follow the quadratic pattern from there. Reflect it over the other side. If you're wondering how I'm doing this so fast, I just checked these before I did this video. And we've got this point here and here. Okay, once we've got enough points, we'll sketch that in. Trying to keep that curve as smooth and curve like as possible. Kind of failed a little bit there at the bottom, but that happens. Okay, so there's our graph. Um, and so that one there is y equals x squared minus x minus 6. So we can see our two points of intersection. We've got one here and one down here. So the coordinates of that one is 4 and 6. And the coordinates of this one is negative 1 and negative 4. Now I'd like to confirm that algebraically. So I'll just write the equations down here again, and I'll confirm this result algebraically as well. Okay, so let's come down here and check that this works. So we're going to solve this by substitution. So we're going to take what y is equal to and put it into here instead of y. So that gives us 2x minus 2 equals x squared minus x minus 6. So rearranging, we get 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 4, and we can factorize that. So we're looking for two numbers that um, add to negative 3 but times to negative 4, so that would be negative 4 and plus 1. So our two possible x results are um, 4 and x equals negative 1, and then our y results, putting them back um, into our original equation up here, we'd have 8 minus 2, which is 6 and negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. And you'll notice that those give us the same coordinates as our points of intersection of our graph. So it's just worth remembering that the points of intersection of graphs and the um, solving of simultaneous equations, they give the same results. OK, let's look at the second example here. Uh, so this is asking us to draw these two graphs on the same um, diagram. So we'll start with x plus 3. So that's crossing the x-axis at 3, and has a gradient of 1, so going up like that, and likewise down like that on the other side. So ruling those together with your ruler. Okay, and then we have our graph y equals negative x squared plus 2, so that's just um, passing through this point, and following our quadratic pattern, um, it's going to look like that. So it becomes apparent very early on here that these graphs, in fact, don't intersect. And that's what the question here is actually asking us to show algebraically, that they don't intersect. So what we'll do uh, is we'll sort of start off um, assuming that they do intersect. So because we've got y equals here and y equals here, we'll make those equal to each other. So we get x plus 3 equals 2 minus x squared. And we'll rearrange so that we get a quadratic. So that gives us x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. And when we're looking at whether or not a, an equation has a solution, we look at the discriminant. So just remembering this form of a quadratic, a squared, ax squared plus bx plus c. And remembering that property of the um, discriminant. So b squared plus... Um, sorry, b squared minus 4ac. So in this case, b squared would be 1, and minus 4ac would be 4 times 
1 times 1, and so that gives us 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. So we can say that the discriminant in this case is less than 0, and so therefore there are no intercepts. So you remember this from um, algebra, and uh, it's important to remember that maths isn't some isolated topic uh, broken into different internal assessments, that actually the skills that we learn in one area often come up in another area, and that's certainly what happens here. So you have to be um, willing with graphs to solve for a point or show uh, why there may be n no points of intersection, or in some cases one point of intersection as well. Okay, to practice these skills, um, we won't worry about practicing these particular skills, uh, but you can go on to the um, next video. Thank you.